Hey, what's going on, guys? IO Studios here from another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today, I am teaching you guys how to create a PBR uh, rock material. PBR just means physically based, so really realistic. Um, and we're going to be using some texture maps, uh, and I will leave a download link in the description to where you can download them. I'm not sure if you can use them for commercial use, but you can use them for personal use. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create shader C4D Octane Octane material. And we're going to open this up. We'll call this rock. So um, material type, you want to set that to glossy. And um, index, uh, we can do about an index of 1.2. We don't want much reflectance, but just a tiny bit. And we're going to add some roughness later. We might bring this up a bit later, but we'll see. In the diffuse, um, click here and open up the um, thing titled diffuse in the rock texture. As I said, it's in the description. The download link is in the description. Go download it. Um, so we're going to open that up. Okay. Uh, in the specular channel, open it up and uh, use the metallic um, that thing there. Use the metallic. Um, it's called the metallic map. There we go. Um, and in the roughness, click that, open it up, and we're going to use the roughness map. Okay, and we're going to end up, uh, if we bring up this index all the way, we're going to bring up the index of refraction all the way. Okay, well, uh, more notifications. <laughs> okay, we're going to bring up the index of refraction all the way to 8 since it doesn't really matter. Um, uh, okay, so we've got that. We're going to go to our normal map and we're going to open up uh, the normal. There we go. <clears throat> Changed a bit. And the displacement. Now, this is very optional. This will increase your render time. So be warned, it will increase your render times a bit. But if you want to, you can add displacement, open it up, texture, and you can use the height map. There we go. <clears throat> now, um, that's that, pretty much. Um, what we can do as well is we can go to a bump and also use the height map in our bump. And um, if you only want to, if you still want it to be a bit more bumpy, but you don't want to use displacement, you can just use the bump map and uncheck displacement. But we're just going to use displacement and bump. Okay. So there we go. Now, we're going to make our scene. So this is, um, this is our finished rock texture. It looks pretty good, but we're going to make our actual scene now. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to grab a... Um, We'll grab a sphere just to preview this PBR material. And uh, segments, I'll do 32 segments. Uh, she will fire up Octane here. Drop that onto there. You can see here, it already looks pretty good. The texture is pretty high resolution. Um, you may want to um, tile it a bit uh, to get best results. And, you know, tile it. Oh, maybe that's a bit too much tiling. We'll do about 30 and 30. If you want to get a bit more tiling on it, there we go. And the displacement doesn't seem to tile well, so be wary of that. Maybe not use displacement if... Yeah, don't use displacement if you're tiling it too much. That might cause issues like this here. So actually, you know what? We'll set that back to 100. Um, yeah. Oh, not zero. <laughs> 100. There we go. Okay, just like that. That's fine. That's fine. Um, now we'll do our lighting. So... Uh, objects, texture environment, object HDRI environment. We'll grab our texture environment to make it black. <clears throat> Go to our texture environment again. Uh, or not a texture, I mean our, um, yeah, texture environment. And uh, visible environment, check that. So there we go, now it's completely black. And um, Octane Sky. For this one, I'm gonna use an HDRI. I have, do whatever you want. Use any HDRI, just add a, add a fill light, do whatever you want. Uh, what was I looking for here? I was looking for my textures folder here. And uh, let's see here, which HDRI will we use? We'll use a, um, I'm gonna use a HDR sky and ground. <coughs> Try to get some <coughs> natural lighting going here. And um, primary environment, yeah, maybe increase the power a bit. I just like that is fine. And you guys can see here, <coughs> it is, um, Started pretty good. Actually, that displacement probably doesn't increase your render times too much, honestly. Probably not too bad. So, yeah, just like that. Let me go darken the HDRI a bit. Now, we'll deal with our Octane settings. Um, first of all, actually, path tracing should probably enable that. Um, diffuse depth is... Eh, doesn't make a huge difference for this scene, but, yeah, we'll set it to 10. Specular depth... Oh, we can do that, like, 4. Uh, we'll do 5. We don't need much for this scene, but it all depends on your scene. Um, I'm just going to mention something. Diffuse depth is how many bounces you have just for um, normal diffuse materials uh, without any reflections. 
and specular depth is um or actually the fuse is for with reflections as well but um specular depth is just for things like glass and how many bounces inside of glass so that just depends on your scene don't don't worry about that honestly it's not too important um we're gonna grab the parallel samples drag it up the max tile samples drag it up um and that's pretty much all we're gonna do here uh we'll just do priority high and um yeah that's pretty much that Ooh, did not mean to full screen that <laughs> Uh, you know, I'll set this down to 1.5, don't want it to be too bright. <clears throat> and um, yeah, that's that. There's your rock texture. Um, so yeah, it's pretty simple. As you can see, it's just loading in maps. Um, and yeah, down the link to all those um, maps are in the description below. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys later. Bye!